Hello folks, John Head here coming to you with a year in review for 2023 and an Outer Banks real estate market update. I just want to take a few minutes and kind of say it was a challenging year, right, for both buyers and sellers. Um, just because the market had slowed from the first quarter of 2023 and the fall was uh, historically not normal. <laughs> I mean, kind of, as I tell my peers and the like, uh, the fall we always counted about anywhere from 30 to 50% of the business was done historically because the rentals are over, they're easy to show, people are making purchases and getting ready for a new season of the rental side. And uh, that did not fare out in 2023, but we had just come off of, obviously we've relabeled the uh, unicorn years and that was extremely nonstop from throughout the year. So the, just to kind of give you some statistical numbers, the market is still uh, strong. Overall, the time to sell is expanded a little bit, but inventory is still very short supply um, for the Outer Banks of North Carolina, the barrier islands. So as I've said this before, and we'll reiterate, I do not count Curry Tuck mainland and some of Dare mainland um, out to East Lake, but I do get Manio, Ann's Harbor, uh, Body Island, which is Nags Head North, and then all the way to Corolla just off the pavement and of course, all of Hatteras Island. So just to kind of give you a little synopsis here for 2023 compared to 2022, total home sales were down 27% and single fam detached homes were down 31% and condos were down 6%. The housing inventory was said was up for December from month over month uh, or December, 2022 to December, 2023. But look at the numbers and I'm just gonna switch screens here real quick. Um, this is where we sit today for single family homes is 329 and that's from Hatter's Village all the way to Kerala till you leave the pavement. And that's just to kind of an areas of where they are, the average price points, the median price points and the average days on market currently stands with these inventory of single family homes at 97 days. So a little slower than what we had been come accustomed to, but still a vibrant market overall. And now that we have hit 2024, the market has stimulated a little bit with the reduction of almost a full percentage point for second home interest rates. And so the buyers are out um, looking again, and we thank them for that. Uh, everybody has a dream here. We started vacation in here back in phew, golly, 1995 and made our purchase in 96. And they made a move in 97 and hadn't looked back um, Although we're getting ready to experience some colder weather, I don't look uh, to that regular temperatures in the 20s in, in Northeast Ohio. So just to kind of give you an idea what I a sense that the market is gonna do in the first quarter here, I think with the interest rates pulling back, we're gonna see a lot of buyer activity. We are seeing more inventory come to the market. The phones are ringing for people considering selling ahead of the vacation season, which that always makes it nice for a potential buyer because they capture all the rental income for the year and not carrying if they have debt, if they're financing uh, for months at a time prior to the income starting. So that's that's the real crux of where I see us going in 2024. We're gonna see how it shakes out by the mid year, but I think right now we are in pretty good shape uh, for this our second home destination and vacation uh, resort community. Uh, breaking those down, you will see through the residential side, the year over year comparisons uh, from 2022. But interesting enough, if you look at these numbers, um, the residential inventory was up 8% in December, which I mentioned there a minute ago, um, compared to where it was in 2022. And then obviously 2021, it was, it was way down because of the sales. And then the average days on market 2022 <clears throat> year to date, it was 36 and then 51. And that's the total right now we're sitting at 97. So we're still gaining days to sell, which so you understand this, the second home market is never except for the unicorn years experienced the type of frenzy we saw in a 30 day or less uh, under contract time frame. Our average, if I look back over my 25 years, is somewhere about 120 to 200 days. 
You know, obviously, we saw a big surge up during the financial crisis of 08 through about 2012, where the average days on markets was well outside of a year. So uh, we're still pleasantly surprised where we're at, and we'll continue to see that with these uh, price points, I think, will remain stable. We probably didn't hit the appreciation rates that I thought we would for 2023. We're probably going to end up about maybe one and three quarters to two percent uh, appreciation compared to where I thought we might hit five, but that's okay. We're we're seeing a, a little shift here for the beginning of 2024. So obviously, if you haven't looked at these reports before. It goes down through the lots and then it breaks it out. And I'm not going to go through the distress stuff because there's just not much of that out there. And people were concerned about you know, the crisis and foreclosures. Foreclosures are at the lowest point they've been, at least notifications for foreclosures, since 1999. So we're not anywhere close to the kind of you know uh, uncertainty we were in 2007 going into 2008. These are just the building permits, but I do want to get down to the areas because if you're looking specifically for Corolla, you can break this down. Or if you're looking for Hatter's Village or Duck, these are all in here by towns or villages. And that makes it uh, Collington, Kill Double Hills. And it just kind of gives you perspective depending on where your home is located or where you're considering making a purchase. So this information is, is somewhat critical. We like to try to keep everybody informed and educated. So when the time comes for a decision to either buy or sell, you have that information readily available. And that's the beauty of hiring full-time professional to help represent you in the purchase or sale. We've got a great team here at the Colony Realty Sales Team uh, with myself, Sylvia, Vicki, Christian, Bonnie, uh, Karen, and then a support staff that in my opinion, is second to none. So there we have three uh, support folks that are help with the process, and that makes it seamless. Uh, Ninety percent of the time, I don't, we always have problems with the closing somewhere along the way. We have some trepidation, but we we've managed to do very well in having this support staff there to help us uh, as agents representing you get through the process. So we can, if we have to negotiate on something, and they're taking care of paperwork. So that's just a part of dealing with a team that not everybody has that uh, uh, great opportunity to deal with. But so anyway, so the, if depending on where you're looking, this sheet does include Ochre Cope. My single family detached uh, numbers that I just showed you a moment ago do not have Ochre Cope included. Um, that's a really niche market. Uh, if you'd like more information about that, we'd gladly get you with an uh, agent to talk about it or just reach out to the one that's on the page here when we send it to you. So I'm headed over my six minute mark here for you for the end of year, but I just want to say thank you for everyone's entrusted us with their real estate business in 2023. And we look forward to a very vibrant 2024. We've got a great team and we're excited about it. So uh, if you have questions, you can always reach out to me, John at Colony Realty corp.com or my cell phone 252-592-4629 or just reach out to the one of our team members who sent you this directly. In the meantime, make it a great day. Do we see you here at the beach and happy 2024. Take care.